Hi, I'm Henning from FlipModels.com, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the learning path for the Ultimate Sculpt in Flipbox. If you're interested in the Ultimate Sculpt in Flipbox, or you have already bought it, you might find that it's a bit intimidating. We have 13 items in the um, bigger Flipbox here, and you can see that there's just a lot of stuff, unless you are familiar with these courses. This here might just feel like a lot. So in this video, I'm going to take you through what order you should take these courses in, and I'll talk a bit about them as well. Not all of them are courses, some of them are resources, and I'll talk a bit about how to use them as well. You can also find a learning path in a written article as well that you can find in the link in this description. So starting off with introduction to ZBrush, if you are brand new to ZBrush or sculpting, I really recommend this course. This is where we take you through all the essential features of ZBrush. ZBrush is a really confusing software and this one guides you through ZBrush in a quite easy to understand way. It's one of those where we don't cover every single feature in ZBrush because that's insane. Instead, we focus on really only the features that you're actually going to be using day to day and explaining things like Dynamesh, Sculptors Pro, subdivisions, using the different brushes, and finally creating this uh, nice cave troll, Lord of Rings style cave troll like this as well, covering some poly painting and some other features like some hard surface modeling. If you're sculpting Blender instead, you can also start with this one. If you're not sculpting Blender, you can straight up skip this course. This is going to have a lot of the same information as Intro to Sculpting does, just for Blender. But this one is great, right? This one here covers a lot of content for how to get started with sculpting in Blender, focuses on the interface to general topics and a lot of sculpting content in general. Next up, we have the Flipmodels brush kit. Now, this only works for ZBrush. This is a specific brush kit that contains three different brushes. This is my all-time favorite brush now in ZBrush, the FN Buildup. This is a version of the Clay Buildup, which is, has been my default version for like a decade now. And this one here is it's essentially just an alpha on top of the regular Buildup, but it's such an appealing and nice brush to use. Everything just feels better. And as you probably know, when you're sculpting in ZBrush, the feel is really one of the most important things. So I highly recommend the brush kit just as a starting point. I would straight up just replace my default clay build-up brush with this one here and turns out at least a hotkey setup. Then we have Intro to Sculpting. Intro to Sculpting covers a lot of general sculpting concepts. So once you are comfortable with the actual interface of the software, such as like ZBrush or Blender, then you can start to get into the actual sculpting of your own characters, right? Here we cover stylized sculpting, we cover how to make this, this uh, Lord of the Rings style dwarf from scratch. We cover a lot of fundamentals of anatomy, facial expressions, stretching and compression, gesture and flow, and also sculpting over some student work as well, talking about how to you can improve this. And in general, just really covering a lot of sculpting concepts. Honestly, this is the course I wish I had when I started out and I made this course for myself as somebody who started out. This is the course like I designed basically for myself as a beginner. So this is one of the courses I really recommend that you dig into. Related to this course is Intro to Anatomy. Anatomy is insanely complex and one of the hardest things about anatomy is honestly finding a good source for learning the anatomy. What I mean by this is that if you look at anatomy books, you are going to find that they are so, so overwhelming to start off with. Like, all right, cool. Now we're going to go through the bones and they go through all the bones then they go through all the muscles. And it's like um, a wiki for bones or wiki for muscles and wiki for anatomy in general. That is just insane. Instead, what you need is you need a course like this what, that covers what you need to know for the majority of all your anatomy needs. You can get really far with not that much knowledge. Of course, we do cover a lot of technical things like the brachioradialis, extensor carpal radial, as long as all this kind of stuff, right? But we also simplify it down into a way that we can actually understand and use this day to day. This is also one of the courses that I built for myself when I was a beginner. I really, really wish I had this anatomy course when I was a beginner sculptor because this would have saved me literally years of just memorizing anatomy and just going through silly things and ultimately forgetting a lot of what I was learning because honestly anatomy is just so overwhelming when you are new. So yeah, this covers a lot of really essential stuff. It's essentially, it's a spiritual successor to intro to sculpting. So these two go very much hand in hand. Next up, we have character concept sculpt in ZBrush. This is where we are sculpting Frankenstein's monsters from scratch. This is uh, a tutorial just focusing on making the end result. This is not one of those fundamental 
tutorials where we really cover the deep fundamentals of the face. Instead, what we do here is we go from a sphere to sculpting the final thing. This is all real time, meaning you can follow every single stroke. There are no time lapses in this whatsoever. And just focuses on good sculpting techniques from absolutely the first stroke, the first primitive to doing the final pores and the final wrinkles of this one. So I highly recommend that you go through this one. If this is too advanced for you, that's totally fine. You can come back to this later, but I do recommend that you still watch the videos just so you get an idea of the actual steps because that's often something you need as well. You don't necessarily need to follow something like all the way through, like literally stroke by stroke. You can also just see what are the general steps. Then leveling up from the last one, this is a course made by my, my co-founder, Morten Jaeger. All the other courses are made by myself. All the resources up here are, are straight up just built by myself. And this is made by Morten. And this focuses on building this full character from scratch in ZBrush. This is a really, really awesome course. And this is one of those courses that's also real time. Everything is shown. You can follow one to one and, and Morten will cover the anatomy and cover the general steps on how to how to build something like this. This is an awesome course. Uses C modeler here, just really goes through how to do just just awesome character concept. This course is essentially how do you make a Dark Souls boss, right, in ZBrush from scratch. So I really hope you enjoyed this one here. It works really well with uh, this one as well, creating the Frankenstein's monster. So these two go very hand in hand. Then we have concept sculpting for film and games. This is a course that is similar to the last one, but this one does feature some time lapses as well. So this is more to show you the overall workflow for how you would be creating a sculpt like this from scratch as well. So this is more of a show showing how you can use a base mesh to create some nice shapes. This focuses a lot on the mid frequency and really just getting a nice character out there. Next up, we have sculpting a realistic male face and sculpting a realistic female face in ZBrush. These two go very hand in hand. These courses here are great since it gives you the overview of how to sculpt the male and the female face. They very much go hand in hand and the steps are the same, though they focus on the differences between the two. So when you're sculpting a male face, it's a lot more about getting the specific bones right in the anatomy. While when you're sculpting a female face, it's a lot more down to the subtle volumes and really getting the gesture of the face right as well. So these two courses are great. They really go hand in hand and I recommend those after the Frankenstein and uh, the creature concept one, getting into something more natural as well. Related to these two courses, we also have sculpting the facial features in ZBrush. This is where we go through how to sculpt the mouth, eyes, nose and ears and really analyzing how to do this. This is a really important course for you because this is focusing on the specificity of each feature. So for instance, when you're sculpting the ear, you want to learn about the helix, the anti-helix, the tragus, the lobe, and really just getting in here and understanding this layout. This is something that's going to really serve you for the rest of your sculpting career. And if you can understand how to build a nose, for instance, understanding the the four main building blocks of the nose. This is just going to help you a crazy amount. Then the last course is Modeling and Sculpting a Dinosaur by Rowena. This is a really lovely course. It's a bit different than the other courses. This one here does, of course, cover how to do all of this. But one of the differences with Rowena's teaching style is that she's really holistic in her approach. She's really talking about what it's like to be an artist and all the struggles we face. And you know, it's a really nice and optimistic course. I genuinely really enjoy this one. Of course, the, the teaching is also good, right? Like it does cover how to do these kind of scales, which of course is really important. This stuff is hard to do. It takes a lot of time to do and understanding how to do this is really, really important. But on top of that, it's just a really nice thing to listen to. So sometimes if I'm sculpting, I put this on and I just listen to her speak. Then we have the Flipknot's Creature Kit. This product here is the last one I recommend that you do because at this point you have a decent understanding of how to sculpt characters. If you are starting with this kit here before you understand how to really make cool characters from, from scratch on your own, you're just going to make VDM brushes on tons of blobs. So this is a VDM kit. This contains a ton of really awesome VDM brushes. These sculpts here are made just within a few hours of, of starting from start to finish. And this is only possible because of the various brushes. So you have the base mesh, you have ears, the skull parts like this, you have the nose, the eyes, the teeth as well. This is a really, really awesome kit for designing creatures from scratch. Even if you'd want to create a creature that's not exactly like this, you can still modify the various VDMs to really make it fit the character you want. So this is a kit I use a lot when it comes to designing creatures. Uh, I really enjoy this one.
So that's it for the learning path for the Ultimate Sculpting Flipbox. We are going to be doing videos and guides like this for future Flipboxes as well. If you haven't got the Flipbox and you're interested in this, uh, keep in mind that this offer today ends in 14 days. And once this is over, then the Flipbox is, is over. Like then it's gone from the site. So make sure to get this while this is uh, still online. But cool, see you in the next video.